<laughs> All right. So you have paper, you have pencil, you have compass, straight edge, optional calculator. Put it away. And everything else is uh, away at this time. I've already gone ahead and collected notebooks from students. So, of course, uh, looking forward to getting a video of your notebook if you have not already sent that in, Gavin. Remember, that'll be two quiz grades. That uh, should help you out uh, on this quarter average since quizzes can be a little tough in this class. A couple of free hundreds or at least free A's if you did a really good job should be helpful. All right, let's pray and I will hand out the exam. Lord, I thank you so much for my students. I pray that you'd help them now as they take this exam to remember the things that they've learned this quarter, the things that they've studied and worked at. Lord, on proofs, help them think carefully, really on each question, help them to think carefully, work carefully and accurately. Help them not to make careless mistakes as they take this, as they take this test, Lord. Pray it be their very best work and a good reflection of how well they uh, understand the geometry that I taught them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, when you get your test, which first and last name of the name is Spock. Today's date in the date, Spock. Today is 10-7-22. 10-7-22. Today's date. First and last name, 10-7-22. Today's date. Ten seven twenty two. First and last name. Let's take a look at the test together. First page, true or false? If the statement is always true, write true. If the statement is not always true, write false. That's first page. Second page, you got a short answer section. A um, couple of things there, a couple of lists for you there on 18 and 19. Obviously, there may be more than three ways for 18 and 19, but I just need three of them, any three. Uh, number 20, you're kind of really just defining, uh, giving me a definition. Because you give me the definition, that would answer the question. 21 and 22, uh, a little bit of math for you to do, and there's a little space to work there. But you could certainly do that on your own paper. Obviously, your paper could also be used on the true-false to draw pictures to help you think through the questions. 23 through 27, you may want to replicate this picture so that you can draw on it, or you can write lightly and erase and then redo some different numbers because the numbers change. Each problem is unique. Uh, don't assume any lines to be equal. You are given that M is parallel to N. Again, every problem, it doesn't build, so don't take the answer for 23 and try to use it on 24. Page three, I've got two constructions for you to do there. So go and do those, work carefully on those. There is a very short proof at the bottom of page three. Uh, fill in all the gaps. And then on page four, we have another slightly longer proof. Again, in each case, I've given you a little bit of help along the way, and you're doing most of it. All right. You'll have the remainder of the period to work. Work carefully. Work accurately. Don't rush. Think carefully. All right. You may begin.